Hi, this is Chris Myers with Piscean 3D Printers, and today's review is on the Monoprice Maker Select Ultimate 3D Printer. So, without further ado, let's get into this. This printer is a more advanced printer, so I would say it would be uh, either intermediate to advanced, uh, mainly because of what all it offers. The out of the box, there is quite a bit you have to put together so it's not you know if you want something that's right out of the box in 10 minutes you're up in printing and this guy is not going to do that for you however it uh, gives you flexibility like very few printers can give you the fact that it can give you the ability to print in so many different filaments for all kinds of different plastics and what's even crazy is it'll even do like say wood or metal uh, all kinds of all kinds of filaments so the temperature controls on it are pretty advanced you can adjust it to however you want to um, it's got a ton of features everything from flow control to uh, making sure that the nozzles don't clog uh, to just so many different options you can choose from which makes this for its price point an amazing deal all right there's other printers that are very similar and comparable to this comparable <laughs> excuse my english anyway this particular printer is much more affordable than say others that can do the, with the same specs the uh, the uh, there are a couple of downsides to this uh, mainly that you kind of have to be around to do most of your printing uh, either direct link through USB uh, through a flash drive through uh, an SD card you can't there's no cloud uh, or virtual um, network type printing at least not yet and for this particular printer so that might be something that you might want to consider uh, depending on your situation if, if you're like in a workshop or something like that it's probably not a big deal uh, if you are getting your 3d printers in a in a separate room compared to your office you, you may not want to unplug and walk all the way over there and plug in but you know it just depends on on you and what you want so let's get into a little more of the features on this thing. Uh, this gives you, it's an all metal uh, extruder. It has a, a heated print bed. And uh, so that means it can pretty much, like I was saying earlier, print on pretty much anything. It's an anti-jam feeder, um, all metal frame, has a nice LCD screen. Uh, requires like I said a little bit of extra elbow grease in the setup but it's it's overall a, a really mighty machine for the price uh, as far as all the various different things it can do the other cool little feature of this little guy is the resolution okay it can go to 20 microns or 0 0.02 millimeters uh, so the how thin you're making your layers can really get really into that detail that a lot of uh, 3d printer enthusiasts are, are craving so even on its lower resolutions I've seen demos where it can print uh, even on its low resolution better than a comparable price point 3d printer on its highest resolution less cleanup means more time and more time means you can do other things other than having to do cleanup. So, that is my uh, short version on this. Uh, click my link below to a full review and you can see all the various different specs and stuff. As well as a link to the actual product uh, to where you can even get even more detailed information. And if you like this video, I ask that you subscribe and also click the bell icon so that way you can be alerted to any other videos that i produce in the future as i will be doing more reviews 
as I go through and learn more and more about each of these printers. So until then, happy printing.